In this week's Behind the Headlines, a double dose of star power may shine light on a pair of mysterious missing persons cases in Collier County. The last person to be with them that anybody witnessed was the then Collier County Sheriff's Deputy Calkins. A Collier deputy was terminated after making conflicting statements about his interactions with each man. And now, more than a dozen years later, civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represented the family of Trayvon Martin, is joining forces with movie mogul Tyler Perry, directing their resources at the former deputy. We're here to announce that we are filing a civil wrong for death lawsuit where he will be subpoenaed and he will be made to come to be deposed and give sworn testimony for the first time to answer. The stakes have never been higher. Tyler Perry up the ante, doubling the pot of money allocated for tips. It now stands at almost a quarter million dollars. Is that when I first offered the $100,000 reward asking for information, we have not gotten any leads. I'm raising that uh, reward to $200,000 for information. Generating heat in an ice cold case, this time it's headed to a courtroom. We'll have those stories along with the latest in our Positively Healthy Medical series. I'm Amy Osher and this is Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher, thanks for joining us. Two missing men, two well-known activists, their stories collide in Collier County. Almost 15 years ago, in two separate cases, each man crossed paths with a Collier deputy and were never seen again. Filmmaker and actor Tyler Perry and civil rights attorney Ben Crump traveled to Naples in pursuit of answers. It's an uncomfortable role for actor and filmmaker Tyler Perry. Good morning. I, um, uh, I really don't want to be here in this moment. I wish none of us had to be here in this moment. Taking center uh, stage at a news conference, Perry spoke of his support of Marcia Williams, whose son disappeared after getting into a patrol car with a Collier County deputy. So my, my hope here, my prayer is in all of this, in, in trying to help her, is to just get the answers and get the justice that she deserves. That, that Answers have been few and slow in coming. In the early 2000s, Felipe Santos, an undocumented worker from Mexico, was involved in a minor crash in Naples. The responding deputy was Steve Calkins. It was October of 2003. Santos was arrested on suspicion of driving without a license, but he was never booked into jail. The deputy later saying he decided instead to drop Santos off at a nearby Circle K. Nothing collaborates his story. Santos simply vanished. Several months later, in January of 2004, Terrence Williams crossed paths with Deputy Calkins, who pulled over his Cadillac for an expired plate. The deputy called a tow truck to take the car. Employees who worked at a cemetery near where the car was stopped saw Williams get into the patrol car. In this recorded call with his dispatcher, Calkins says it never happened. Oh, well, the somebody at the cemetery is telling the mother that you picked up the driver and he's been missing since Monday. Oh, Calkins later says he did pick up Williams, but dropped him off at a Circle K. Sold. I don't know how you can sit and not be upset that these two people, black, white, Mexican, doesn't even matter, would, would be put in the back of a sheriff's deputy's car, someone we are supposed to trust put in the car and then they disappear and haven't been seen in 14 years. I no criminal evidence linked Calkins to the disappearances. He was fired for giving conflicting statements. Filing a wrongful death lawsuit, the Williams family is making a statement of its own. I want to formally say what people for the last 14 years have been informally saying, and that is that he intentionally murdered Terrence Williams and Felipe Santos. They believe they have the evidence to win their case, even if the now former deputy does not testify. And it will be coming out uh, in discovery. And thanks to the help of Marcia Williams and people who have gave us information, we've been able to put together this puzzle uh, and 
we do believe, we're very confident that this murder mystery will be solved. This legal step may help Marcia Williams find out once and for all what happened to her son. So now I'm just on my search. I'm not gonna give up. Credit for getting the case to this point goes in part to Marcia Williams, who committed herself to keeping this investigation alive. After the news conference, Terrence Williams' mom and her attorney, Ben Crump, gave us an exclusive sit down. And I never told anybody this publicly. I got up one morning, got up on that Monday morning, and I just had this feeling all over me. And I just started praying. I knew something was wrong. Um, so the next day, his roommate called. He said, have you heard from Terrence? Hadn't heard from him. He kept making phone calls. I kept calling people. Nobody had heard from him. You felt in your heart from the very beginning, before you even knew there was a there, there, that there was something wrong? A mother knows, but you have to have that bond. You have to have that, that closeness. We've always been close. He would hang up. He would talk to, talk to me for an hour. Then he would hang up the phone and call right back. We had that bond. I had Terrence when I was younger, so we, we basically grew up together. Um, we would go to the movies together, go out to eat together. One time he told me we went to the mall and he, when we entered the door, the entrance of the door to the mall, he turned around and he looked, he said, now mama, he said, you can't be walking with me. He said, because girls would think that you're my girlfriend. Now you know he's, he's missing. What did you do initially? I contact, contacted the sheriff's department and at first they were no help. You know, he's, he's an adult. I was even told, come back in a month. So I called home to Chattanooga and I said, Terrence is missing. I cannot find him. My family started making phone calls um, to the hospitals, to the marks, tow companies just, everywhere they could think of. And my sister called and she said, um, we found this car. It was towed from the Naples Mem Memorial Garden Cemetery. So that was a start. I went out and I spoke with the witnesses that saw Steve Calkins pick Terrence up, put him in the back of his cruiser, did not even handcuff him and drove away. Did any senses go off then? You had a sense about something bad foreboding initially. Now when you heard that, that he'd been in the presence of a deputy? It really got bad when he wouldn't return my phone call. I said, put my son's picture in his box, have him to contact me. I have not heard from him to have this day. Have you ever spoken with him or seen him, been in the same room with him? No, no. If he was innocent, he would have came forward a long time ago. What is it you're doing now to maybe force the situation forward? We, today we filed a civil wrong for death lawsuit on behalf of the estate of Terrence Williams against Stephen Calkins. Um, the civil aspects of the law allow us to go forward on a preponderance of the evidence, a reasonable man standard. And when anybody hears all these inconsistencies, all these ironic situations between not only Felipe Santos being allegedly dropped off at the Circle K, but then Terrence Williams being allegedly dropped off at the Circle K and so many other aspects, I think that a jury will conclude that he is responsible for intentionally doing things to cause their disappearance at best, at worst, their murder.
Now, there have been cases that have been tried where there hasn't been a body found. Why don't you think that's happened in this case? Well, it, it's so very difficult when you don't have the actual evidence there to get a conviction. And I think that's one of the things that has stymied this uh, hope for a criminal prosecution for all these years. But it is our belief, and Ms. Williams and I taught, that information gleamed from the civil lawsuit will beget evidence that could be used in a criminal prosecution. You mentioned that in discovery there may be some more information coming forward then. How did that information come forward? Well, I, I will tell you, and obviously we can't share that at this time, uh, but this lady here, Marcia Williams, has been dogmatic in her pursuit for the truth to come out about her only child. And it's people in the community, people who saw certain things, who uh, can be proven with good basis that this is in fact a fact. And those things are gonna come to light and a jury of uh, all our peers can look at those facts and they can put the puzzle together and deliver a verdict, a verdict that Ms. Marcia Williams had, deserves. Do you find that the time may be on your side now because A, you don't have a statute of limitations for any criminal charges, but also that people's fears may have dissipated now and now they're just ready or willing to come forward? Well, I think as it could be a double-edged sword how much time goes by. Uh, you know, people hopefully won't fear retribution because we got to remember he was a police officer doing this and sometimes people fear speaking out against the police. Um, but I think as time has went by and they've seen all the inconsistencies, they've seen the culmination of all the circumstantial evidence that their bit of information, their tidbit of information helps complete a little jagged edge of the puzzle that we couldn't quite put together. And I think that's what's happening. People are saying, well, I don't know the whole uh, solution. I can't solve the whole puzzle, but I can't fill in this aspect of it. Now, if you look at the cases, the Santos and Williams cases happen within a few weeks of each other. Do you have any inkling or believe there's even a capacity for there to be more? These are the only two we know about. But uh, there's some other missing people out there that this uh, person may have encountered that never came forward. She doesn't believe that this is his first time doing this. Have you heard either of you of the, they're calling the starlight theory of officers at one point may have kind of as a just a punishment taken people and just dropped them off in the middle of nowhere? I've heard of that theory. Um, the reason we tend to reject that theory is we believe that somebody would have found remains at that point uh, versus an orchestrated uh, act, uh, a nefarious act where somebody uh, killed them and hid the bodies where they would never be found. I believe that day he intended on doing what he was going to do. And I believe the day that he picked up Felipe, he intended on doing what he was going to do. We do know there's a racial aspect. We hear his own voice when he calls in about the alleged abandoned Cadillac, how he is making certain racial stereotypical comments about uh, the owner of the Cadillac. So it's inescapable that race has some aspect to do with what happened. My hope is that when I first offered the $100,000 reward asking for information, we have not gotten any leads. I'm raising that uh, reward to $200,000 for information. Yes, we were very surprised, surprised. and excited uh, when Tyler Perry doubled the reward money to get information about the disappearance of Felipe and Terrence. But and it's really helpful because it puts it back out there in the society where people are on high alert trying to see if they know anything, saw anything, or remember anything. Have you had investigators on the ground from your office more recently trying to, to build your case? 
We've had investigators a lot of places trying to build our case. Uh, we've been working on this. Uh, and since uh, I first talked to Miss Williams and talked to Tyler Perry, and they educated me on the plight of the missing, this has become an important case in my law firm because we understand with a successful uh, verdict here, it will have a ripple effect on so many families across America, far beyond Naples. Without specifically addressing the wrongful death lawsuit, the Collier Sheriff's Office released a statement praising the effort to raise public awareness. It reads in part, we thank our community, which has been working this case together with us for years and providing numerous tips and leads to investigators. The statement went on to say the agency is dedicated to solving these cases. Still ahead, a look at a rather mysterious medical condition. That's coming up after the break. The patients come in with terrible pain and stiffness of the shoulders and hips and neck. Life here is amazing, and so is the joint care. At the Total Joint Center at Physicians Regional Healthcare System, we've changed the experience of joint replacement for good. With our comprehensive joint care program, most hip and knee replacement patients return home in just two days because we know you want to get on with your active life. Pain-free living starts at Physicians Regional Medical Center Collier Boulevard and Physicians Regional Medical Center Pine Ridge. My name is Steve Unser and cabinetry is my specialty. I have been creating custom design cabinetry for 20 years in Southwest Florida. And now I am celebrating the grand opening of our new Naples showroom. Steve Unser Cabinetry will help you design your kitchen, bath, or home office with stunning results. Offering the best quality of cabinets with a wide variety of design options and pricing to fit any budget. If your kitchen isn't becoming to you, you should be coming to us. Now two locations to serve you. Is your auto insurance keeping pace with your life? Ask for a AAA triple check insurance review to see if your current policy is still a good fit. An agent will assess changes in your life, like new vehicles or drivers. Make sure you've got the right coverage and all the discounts you deserve. They'll also see how a AAA membership can round out your protection on the road. Plus, provide roadside assistance, discounts, free services, and vacation extras. Ask for your AAA triple check today. The area's only 30 minutes or less ER service pledge means you'll find less waiting for the care you need. And because we're full service hospitals, a lot more care if you need it. Less waiting, faster care. Only at Physicians Regional Healthcare System. Hiring the right moving company is important. Best Moving and Storage is a family-owned and operated business serving Southwest Florida for over 22 years. From our free in-home estimate until the last piece of furniture is in your new place or stored in our climate-controlled warehouse, we treat you like family. Best Moving and Storage is fully licensed and insured with all of our employees being certified drivers and packers. When it comes to protecting your treasured belongings, choose a company that's experienced and trustworthy. Call Best Moving and Storage today at 239-592-6565. Coming Saturday, October 27th at Cambier Park in downtown Naples, it's the Paradise Coast Wine and Food Experience. Celebrate the best of the Naples culinary scene with chef personalities, celebrated wine experts, and award-winning special guests such as Chef Scott Conant, restaurateur, author, and judge of Food Network's Chopped. Explore the area's trends and traditions, spirits and craft beer, and savory samplings of this grand tasting. Tickets are available at wineandfood.naplesnews.com. Jean LaBeouf has been an anonymous food critic in Lee County for nearly 40 years. And now JLB is expanding into Collier County. Look for a new review every week. You'll never know where I'll turn up. A mysterious ailment impacts almost a quarter million people in this country. Its rapid onset is baffling to most patients, but doctors are well acquainted with this inflammatory condition. Here's the latest in this week's Positively Healthy. Polymyalgia rheumatica it may be one of the most common medical conditions you've never heard of. It's an inflammatory process of the body where the patient can have sudden or slow onset of pain. 
This inflammatory disorder causes muscle pain and stiffness, says board-certified rheumatologist Alan Goodwin. It can be debilitating. The patient may wake up one morning with severe difficulty getting out of bed, getting up from the toilet seat. Because polymyalgia rheumatica doesn't involve swollen joints, it may be more difficult to diagnose. A rheumatologist is often the go-to physician because of their expertise in diseases of the joints, bones, and muscles. The patients come in with terrible pain and stiffness of the shoulders and hips and neck, some of them, and it's very easily treated. It's a chronic disease, but we can manage it. Corticosteroids are used to treat this condition. Once on medications, patients typically find dramatic relief of symptoms. Polymyalgia rheumatica is considered one of the most common forms of aching and stiffness in people over the age of 50. Our reporters have their hands full this week. Here's a look at what we're covering on the beat. Thanks, Amy. Hi, I'm Shelby Reynolds. I'm the food reporter at the Naples Daily News. This week, I'm working on a story about a local chef who will appear on the Food Network. Chef Asif of 21 Spices will appear on September 20th on Beat Bobby Flay, in which chefs from across the country first compete against each other, and then if they win, they advance to compete against the celebrity chef Bobby Flay. Read more about the story later this week in the Naples Daily News and online at naplesnews.com. I'm Harriet Heithouse, arts and entertainment writer for the Naples Daily News and naplesnews.com. But I'm a pet lover too, and this week I took a week off from the arts to follow a cat hunter as she searches out feral felines who weathered Hurricane Irma and finds out what happens to their population. It's online now on naplesnews.com. Up next, a techie alert as if the world of Apple wasn't huge enough. It may be getting bigger. That's ahead on Behind the Headlines. An iPhone Plus model at 6.5 inches, which would be the biggest iPhone ever. The area's only 30 minutes or less ER service pledge means you'll find less waiting for the care you need. And because we're full service hospitals, a lot more care if you need it. Less waiting, faster care. Only at Physicians Regional Healthcare System. My name is Steve Unser and cabinetry is my specialty. I have been creating custom designed cabinetry for 20 years in Southwest Florida. And now I am celebrating the grand opening of our new Naples showroom. Steve Unser Cabinetry will help you design your kitchen, bath, or home office with stunning results. Offering the best quality of cabinets with a wide variety of design options and pricing to fit any budget. If your kitchen isn't becoming to you, you should be coming to us. Now two locations to serve you. Coming Saturday, October 27th at Cambier Park in downtown Naples, it's the Paradise Coast Wine and Food Experience. Celebrate the best of the Naples culinary scene with chef personalities, celebrated wine experts, and award-winning special guests such as Chef Scott Conant, restaurateur, author, and judge of Food Network's Chopped. Explore the area's trends and traditions, spirits and craft beer, and savory samplings of this grand tasting. Tickets are available at wineandfood.naplesnews.com. Life here is amazing, and so is the joint care. At the Total Joint Center at Physicians Regional Healthcare System, we've changed the experience of joint replacement for good. With our comprehensive joint care program, most hip and knee replacement patients return home in just two days because we know you want to get on with your active life. Pain-free living starts at Physicians Regional Medical Center Collier Boulevard and Physicians Regional Medical Center Pine Ridge. Hiring the right moving company is important. Best Moving and Storage is a family-owned and operated business serving Southwest Florida for over 22 years. From our free in-home estimate until the last piece of furniture is in your new place or stored in our climate-controlled warehouse, we treat you like family. Best Moving and Storage is fully licensed and insured with all of our employees being certified drivers and packers. When it comes to protecting your treasured belongings, choose a company that's experienced and trustworthy. Call Best Moving and Storage today at 239-592-6565. Jean LeBouf has been an anonymous food critic in Lee County for nearly 40 years. And now JLB is expanding into Collier County. Look for a new review every week. You'll never know where I'll turn up. Is your auto insurance keeping pace with your life? 
Ask for a AAA Triple Check Insurance Review to see if your current policy is still a good fit. An agent will assess changes in your life, like new vehicles or drivers. Make sure you've got the right coverage and all the discounts you deserve. They'll also see how a AAA membership can round out your protection on the road. Plus, provide roadside assistance, discounts, free services, and vacation extras. Ask for your AAA Triple Check today. September has come to be known as the month when Apple announces its new phone models, and this year may be a biggie in more ways than one. USA Today tech reporter Jefferson Graham has a preview. What we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. You think this iPhone is too small? Well, good news, iPhone shoppers. The next crop of iPhones are going to be bigger than ever. Apple will officially announce its 2018 crop in September, but analysts we've spoken to expect three new iPhone models, a 5.8 inch, which will be basically the second generation iPhone 10, an iPhone Plus model, at 6.5 inches, which would be the biggest iPhone ever, and a lower price 6.1 inch iPhone with a lower resolution screen. So what's with the bigger screens? Video. Analysts tell us that young people spend most of their time with these things watching a lot of Netflix and a lot of other stuff, and they're demanding bigger screens. If you're a fan of the home button on the older iPhones, new ones are not going to have it. It's going to be Face ID all the way. However, you'll still be able to buy the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8, which still have the home button. So enjoy it while you got it. Finally today, we'll leave you on a flowery note, a new art installation that is debuting this week in Naples, featuring colorful garden goliaths. That's how our Harriet Heithouse describes it. Well, I was looking uh, for an inspiration to make large-scale sculpture in a garden. And because my work as a filmmaker and as a, an artist, as a sculptor, often references the history of art, Archimboldo quickly came to mind. His playfulness, his um, wit, the composite nature of the paintings, the fact that his paintings are made of many, many disparate uh, items. You know, in the case of, um, of spring, uh, 80 flowers. Uh, I thought I could do something really interesting in large-scale sculpture. That does it for this week's show. Thank you for joining us. You can always catch up on past editions by logging on to NaplesNews.com. From the homepage, scroll down to Quick Links and select Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher. See you back here next week. This woman has been struggling privately for many, many years just to get attention. No one would even give her attention because I had a reporter to tell me, an actual reporter from a major network when I called trying to get attention to say, well, the victims aren't sympathetic. They aren't sympathetic. Those are the exact words that were said to me. They are not sympathetic, so they didn't want to run the story. But you have the power in here to help the story get out. It's a new day with social media. It's a new day with these movements. We all have the power to get the story out. So it's my hope and prayer that you all will help us stand with us, stand with Marcia and our grandkids, Terrence's kids, stand with the Santos family in prayer as we go through this. So God bless you and thank you.